Okay. I am impressed. Wow, this set the standard. It's affordable, it tastes good, and it has great boba. Hi everyone. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hi everyone. In today's video, we are doing only ordering the cheapest drink on the menu. <laughs> And of course we have to have a mom in this video because last time we did the most expensive drinks and she was not very happy about that. No. So today we are doing the cheapest drinks because we have to redeem ourselves. <laughs> so at each place, I'm pretty sure most of them, the cheapest item would be like just a plain green tea or something like that. So to avoid that, we're gonna just like ignore that section that's just like the plain teas and we're gonna get like the next cheapest thing. So before we get into it, if you guys like cheap drinks, if you guys like mom in the videos, make sure you guys hit the like and let's get right into the video. All right, so we just stopped by the first stop, which is 10 ren, and we did go to this place in our most expensive boba drinks video. And mom really liked it because even their most expensive drink was a lot cheaper than the other drinks in that video. Yeah, it's really <laughs> worth it. <laughs> so today we are here to try their cheapest drink, which is their classic black milk tea. And we added boba because their boba is only 25 cents, which is literally the cheapest you can get boba for. All other places are at least 50 cents. A lot of them are raising it to like 75 cents now. So throughout this video, we're gonna get some toppings in some of them because a video without toppings for mom would be a very sad video. So true. <laughs> Everybody knows how I love my topping. Yeah, so this is the black milk tea. It's 350 and 25 cents extra for the boba So 375 in total, which is actually really cheap. I feel like I still remember when boba was first introduced in the Bay Area It's about that price. Really? Yeah, but anyway most places nowadays would not have a boba milk tea for 375 and of course We got to use the feed me mate glass boba straw. Yes, everyone, please use the feed me mate glass boba straw straw they are environmentally friendly and they are wonderful and they're very cute please try them out <laughs> Yo. Mm. 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 the boba is really soft and chewy and very strong milk tea flavor classic milk tea flavor yeah it's super classic wow this that's the standard it's affordable it tastes good and it has great boba. Okay, mom, remember the last video? This was the cheapest place. Okay, mm. so you can't expect them all to be this cheap, okay? Mm, okay, but this is good. Mm. Yeah. So our second stop is just in the same plaza. So we're gonna head over there, get our drink, and then come back and meet you here. All right, so we just came back from the second stop, which is Yumi Tea. So basically at Yumi, you can only order from the kiosk. So when I went in, I looked through the whole menu to see which one was the cheapest one. And it was this one, which is the strawberry latte with coconut pudding. And this was listed as $4.55 on the kiosk. So that's what I ended up paying. But then while I was waiting for my order, I noticed that they have like a menu that's taped onto their door. So I was looking at the menu to make sure that I did actually get the cheapest thing. And on that menu, this drink is 555 so i don't know if their kiosk just had the wrong price or something but i guess we got like a deal on this drink especially because it already comes with like a topping which is the coconut pudding it looks like an expensive drink i know it looks like an expensive drink but on their printed menu the cheapest drink was the lemon tea with basil seeds mm. but then i don't remember seeing that on the kiosk either so i don't really know what's going on there this is the cheapest drink i could order on the kiosk you're gonna try it first? Yeah. All right. Mmm. Yeah? Wow. Mmm. It basically just tastes like fresh strawberry milk mm -hmm. with the coconut pudding. The milk is very creamy. Definitely get like the strawberry flavor. The coconut pudding is very tasty and it just glides down. It's very smooth and silky. Oh, this is really worth it. Well, it <laughs> it's worth it for the $4.55, right? But what if it was $5.55? And then it's not as worth it. <laughs> For four fifty five, I would definitely get it again. For five fifty five, I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's head to the third stop. 
All right, so before we get some more boba, we actually stopped by for lunch and we went to this place called Osaka Marketplace in Cupertino. And this is one of our favorite places to get like supermarket sushi. They have like a really nice selection of sushi. And then they also have like onigiri and katsu sandwiches and mochi and I don't know, a lot of different kinds of stuff there. So definitely check it out if you guys are in the area. Here I got the Bara Chirashi Bowl and it was only $8.99. Like that is such a good deal. And then mom has the Salmon Uni Bowl and that one is $13.99, probably because of the uni. <laughs> I know, I love uni. Mm. Mm. The uni is very good. Oh my God, you ate it all in one bite? Yeah. Not gonna s save some for me? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna finish up our lunch and then we'll head to the third stop. All right, so we just stopped by the third stop, which is Sunright. And I featured Sunright on my channel before, but mom, you have not tried it yet, right? Never so did. it's your first time trying, got the cheapest drink. You know, just by looking at it, I cannot imagine that is a cheap drink. Oh, because of size? The size and also it has slices of lemon in there. Oh yeah, it. fresh lemon in there. You know how much I like lemon drinks. They had yogurt, green tea, yogurt orange, and yogurt lemon which is what we got and i ordered this because i know how much you like lemon yeah <laughs> thank you Mimi. okay so this drink is 4.95 but they actually have milk teas for 4.90 just like a plain milk tea so that's technically the second cheapest to just like plain tea but this one's only five cents more and we already had milk tea today so i figured why not you know try this one it's only five cents more that is a pretty big drink i think this one is actually 22 ounces wow that is a good deal <laughs> you want to try first i know you like your lemon yeah wow How is it? i like it Yeah, making faces. Very sour. But I like it. I know, but for me it's a little bit sour. Mm. It's not bad. It's just like not particularly my taste. More your taste. I think the yogurt changed the level of sourness. It has enough sourness in there that makes me happy. It's a good... <coughs> Are you okay? Sorry. <laughs> you know what makes me so happy about this drink? It's a 22 ounce drink. It's like twice as big as a, a small size 12 ounce drink. Uh -huh. And it's such a tasty drink. For $4.95 divided by two, it's only about $2.50 each drink, small drink, right? <laughs> wow, that is so worth it. <laughs> so anyway, while mom finishes that up, we're gonna head to the fourth stop. Okay, so we just stopped by the fourth stop, which is TPT. And we actually tried to go to the TPT in Cupertino, but the line was so crazy long. For some reason, the one in San Jose never really has a long line and they also have online order. So it's so much more convenient to order from the San Jose one. Save yourself some trouble if there's a long line there, go to the San Jose one. I couldn't agree more. Mom is not down for the long waits. No, or last the expensive time drinks. we went to the Cupertino one and waited for half an hour in the sun. Okay, I waited for half an hour in the sun. You waited in the car with the air conditioning charging your phone. True. <laughs> <laughs> and even, I can't stand even that much. <laughs> Okay, so we got the cheapest item on the menu. This is called the Iced Tie Guan Yin Tea Coffee Latte and also added QQ Noodle for 50 cents. Ooh, Ooh pretty. Looks, yeah, looks really pretty. I have a feeling this is a very strong in caffeine. Yeah, because it has both tea and coffee. Mm. You're nervous? I, yeah, nervous. <laughs> Oh god, I'm scared now. You're making faces already. Mm -hmm. Wow. Is that a good yeah. wow or a bad wow? That is an awakening wow. It's bitter and it's sweet, but then you have that awakening experience with the strong caffeine coffee. Well, did you taste any of the tea? I can kind of taste it. Yeah, you can kind of taste it, but definitely the strongest flavor is like that coffee. Ooh. <laughs> I'm scared that even though it's only like 4 p.m., we're, we're not gonna be able to sleep tonight. Mm, 
All right, so now that we've been awakened, <laughs> we are gonna go to the fifth, fifth, right? Okay, fifth, yes, fifth, fifth stop. Fifth stop. All right, so we just stopped by the fifth stop, which was Happy Lemon. And I was hoping that their green tea salted cheese one would be the cheapest. Cause I remember it being 375 back when I used to get it all the time, like a few years ago. And now it's 475, they increased it by a whole dollar. So it was not the cheapest thing on the menu, sadly. And mom was very sad about that because know, she loves salted cheese. Mm -hmm. We ended up getting this, which is the passion fruit green tea. They technically had one that was $4 and that was the Yakult green tea, but we already had the Yakult lemon drink earlier. So we got the second cheapest one, the passion fruit green tea for 425. Mm, it's um, very like good. Refreshing. And it definitely has the passion fruit flavor. But I do think it's quite sweet. I have to agree with you, but sweet is good for ma. When I get passion fruit green tea at other places, usually it has more of the tartness from the passion fruit come through. This one, I feel like they added a good amount of sugar. So it kind of <laughs> masks that like tartness that usually comes with passion fruit. So maybe next time i should order it like a little less sweet you know very refreshing proof yeah. yeah so i think we have time for one more place it's actually a place i've been wanting to try so let's head to the last stop all right so we just stopped by the last stop which is there it says it's sauna tea and dessert but their Instagram says Sanana19, so I don't know. But you guys may remember this place because I actually tried going there in my recent video, which was trying new boba shops in the Bay Area. But once I got to the place that they were supposed to have a pop-up in, they said that the pop-up ended. So I saw that they started having a pop-up in a new location in Fremont. Right now they only have like a limited menu, but we got the cheapest drink on the limited menu, which is the black sugar brulee latte. I think that's what it's I called. Think so. yeah. yeah. And while we were waiting for our drink, I saw this sign inside the store that says that they hand fry their black sugar for 10 hours. I know. It's crazy. So I guess we'll see if it really makes that big of a difference. If you can see right there, they brulee the top. So there should be some nice like torch sugar taste. Flavor. So let's go ahead and break it up. Ooh. And then let's mix this up. All right, let's go ahead and give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Did you get that torch sugar? Torch sugar. sugar. Wow. Yeah. It's very prominent. It didn't even look like there was like a huge like amount on top, but it actually makes a very big difference. That's I it. am impressed. Probably the best torch sugar I have tasted. Yeah, it's very like caramelized. It has like a little bit of the burnt taste. Mm hmm I taste the brown sugar very prominently. Yeah. I actually think the black sugar, the flavor is really good mixed with the milk. Mm hmm The boba is like some boba that I get are fine, but others are like too hard. So it's kind of like inconsistent for me. I think it's just fine for me. But I like the drink besides that. Like I think everything else is pretty good. Wow, we finished it. And it seems like one more. <laughs> All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really like the cheap drinks. Then it's all worth it too, because we had pretty good drinks for a much better price. Well, we didn't spend more than $5 this on a drink today. That's actually a win. It didn't cost an arm and a leg. It makes mama very happy. <laughs> So yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn the bell so you get notified when I upload. Give this video a thumbs up. And here's today's comment shout out. Thank you so much for your support. And if you want to be in the next video's comment shout out, make sure you comment something down below. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! But, are you still cheering? I kind of. <laughs> then finish cheering. <laughs> You're always itchy. Oh, it's because of my hair? Yeah. Oh. <laughs>